Welcome, scientists. It's Miss Gisa. You know how much I love slugs and snails. And we're studying snails and slugs right now and their life cycle. So today I have a story called Some Smug Slug, written by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrated by Henry Cole. One summer Sunday, while strolling on soil, with its antenna signaling, a slug sensed a slope. Slowly, the slug started up the steep surface, stringing behind it scribble sparkling like silk. Stop! screamed a sparrow, shattering the silence. Save him! shrieked a spider, scurrying down its strand. Silly, sighed a swallowtail, swooshing through the spice bush. Saphead, snickered a skink as its sapphire tail swished. With a shrug of its shoulders, on the slug sauntered. With a swagger, it slithered up, up the slant. Show off, scolded a squirrel, storing nuts for the season. So sad, squealed a stink bug, shivering on a stem. For one single second in a sunbeam it slumbered. Its sleek skin was soft like shantung. Seldom swerving or straggling or swaying or skewing, the smug slug shambled on. Struggling up to the summit, the slimy slug smiled, a self-satisfied smile. In spite of sinister signs, it showed no suspicion. Until something shifted and shuddered and shook, that sly, slippery slope was simply a sham. Such a shock, such a shame, such a succulent bug. Somewhere in the story, did you see a skunk, a snake, a salamander, and two snails spying on the slug? Also hidden in each picture is an S shape. Can you spot it? Go ahead and listen to the story again and see if you can see those little critters and spot the S's. What happened at the end of that story? What happened to the smug slug? Thank you for joining us today. Remember to support our channel by liking and subscribing.